You can be the most attractive person in the world, but if you smell bad, be it your body odor or breath, you automatically go from a 10 to a 0. And the worst part is, people are often too polite to point out if you have a bad or strange smell. So some guys can literally go years and years of their life just smelling bad and never know it. In this video, you're going to learn how to always smell good. Good hygiene reflects how you feel about yourself, and if you smell good, it's a point of pride and respect for you and those around you. Let's begin. If the first thing you thought of when seeing the title of this video is, I always smell good, I shower and use deodorant, then you're not thinking about this enough. There's much more that affects the way you smell than you might think, from head to toe to your environment. Let's start. Your environment can actually have a great deal of impact in how you smell, regardless of how many showers you take or how much cologne you use. If your house has a distinct smell, because let's say you smoke cigarettes or cook certain kinds of food, that smell will eventually stick to your clothes and you will carry it with you everywhere you go. Other factors can be if you have dirty bed sheets. The same thing applies. The smell of your bed sheets will cling on to anything you wear and you will not smell good. So the point here is, make your living space clean and free of smells. Make sure your bed sheets are clean and make sure your washing machine is regularly maintained and also clean. Now let's talk about you. The most important things here are to keep your mouth, face, and hair clean. These small areas are the quickest to start smelling, much more so than your body. As a general rule, wherever you produce the most oil and sweat is where you should pay the most attention to. Let's start with the mouth. Flossing is perhaps the most important part of a clean mouth. Physically removing leftover food before it goes rotten is the most important part of having fresh breath. But besides flossing, make sure you always clean your tongue with a tongue scraper, brush your teeth, and use an alcohol-free mouthwash. Check out the info section for the products we recommend to always have fresh breath. Next is the hair. Perhaps one of the most understated places that starts to smell bad pretty quick is hair. Most people never think about it, and usually you don't have to, because a lot of people shampoo every day. I'm not a proponent of shampooing too often, because it dries out your hair and strips it of its natural oils that keeps your hair looking nice and shiny. But at the same time, if you go too many days without shampooing, this could make your hair smell really bad. The solution here is to use a co-wash. Co-washing is using only a conditioner to wash your hair. If you have finer, thinner hair, you'd opt for a lightweight conditioner to co-wash with. If you have thicker hair, you'd pick a heavier conditioner. For shampooing, you'd try and shampoo every 2-3 to three days if you have finer hair, and every week if you have thick hair. Make sure you pick a high quality cleansing shampoo that will get rid of all the buildup. Again, we have some recommendations below. Next is of course your body. When washing your body, it is extremely important to get into every nook and cranny. There are certain places a lot of guys refuse to wash for some reason. When washing your body, you should pick between one of these two body washes. Either a dermatologist recommended scent free body wash, or an extremely high quality amazing smelling body wash like Molten Brown. You'd usually go for the second option if you don't plan on using cologne. Try and avoid cheap drugstore body washes that have a strong scent. Next, I think every guy should own a bidet. In this day and age, there's absolutely no reason for you not to have a bidet. It will seriously change your life. They're super cheap and super easy to install in pretty much every bathroom. Next is colognes and deodorants. When it comes to deodorant, pretty much anything works. I prefer gel-based deodorant so it doesn't leave white streaks on my clothing. You really can't go wrong here. When it comes to cologne, this can be a bit more tricky. The wrong cologne at the wrong place can be just as bad as smelling really bad. Make sure when you apply cologne, you're not putting on too much, and the cologne you're using is appropriate for the occasion. Don't dress yourself with a spicy wood cologne and go to the gym. As far as cologne choices go, I always opt for a high quality cologne over a cheap one. Some of my favorite brands are brands like Tom Ford, Beardo, My Son Margiela, and Creed. They're known for producing long-lasting, great-smelling scents, and I'd rather have one expensive cologne than five cheap ones that smell synthetic. If you want to see which specific ones I use, check out the comment section below. And with that said, if you cover these bases, you will be a man that always smells good.